if this video gets to 1,000 likes, I will make this my new Roblox avatar. So make sure you guys like the video and subscribe if you guys want to see this. Hey yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in this video we are here back inside of Bilbo once again and today we are going to be going over the top 5 to the top 10 best gold grinders inside of the game. Okay, like these are literally the best gold grinders that'll make you the maximum amount of gold almost every single time and they're super easy to use, super easy to set up and they barely cost any gold to use. So make sure you stay tuned and also like the video and subscribe and without further ado let's go ahead and hop straight into it and in this video i went ahead and i added malik to the fan wall so if you do want to get your name on the fan wall go ahead and comment down below the keyword gold and you have a chance of getting on the fan wall also make sure you guys like the video and subscribe and without further ado let's hop into number five so this one right here i just have to get out of the way because it's one of the most common glitches inside of the game but it is still up there as one of the best gold grinders ever so basically you just sit down place a cake inside of your avatar just like this and then place a hinge block on the end of your character grab a candy of any type and hold space bar and you can see that you will actually go through the stages at literally the exact speed that you need to go through this is probably one of the easiest controlled glitches inside of the game as well it's super easy control pretty much all you have to do is hold space bar that one will actually give you 237 gold by going to the end every single time so it maxes out the most gold you can possibly get all right this next one is also one of my favorites ever go ahead and place a post just like this you then want to take a pilot seat you then want to actually grab a titanium rod which is uh right here we're gonna place this right on the back and then what we're gonna do from here is we're going to take a hinge block we're gonna flip it so the yellow part is facing towards the titanium and then we're going to actually place ourselves a magnet right here this glitch costs you about like less than 200 gold to make so it's super easy now we're just gonna delete the post activate the magnet and you guys will see how easy this one is now this one might not actually give you the maximum amount of gold but it still is very easy to control and is probably one of the most overpowered grinders ever this next grinder that i'm going to show you guys is amazing as well it is definitely up there inside of the top 10 so i'm going to start out by sitting inside of a seat i'm going to also grab myself some cake blocks also if you guys are wondering how to actually get cakes i have multiple videos on that you guys can go ahead and check out i'll leave a link to them down below inside the description so you guys go over and check those out and then going to place a boxing glove inside my avatar just like this yes guys you heard that right literally a boxing glove we're then gonna grab some wings and then all i'm gonna do pretty much is just put on shift lock it's inside of my settings put shift lock on and i'm just going to hold s on my keyboard i'm gonna hold s on shift lock and it's literally this simple you can use this with jetpacks as well i just find wings to be the easiest and boom look at this this is literally like so perfect it's so easy to control now if you guys are wondering actually how to get the boxing glove this is like kind of an exclusive item it might return back to the game inside of the halloween update we are now at the end this is probably in my opinion one of the best grinders inside of the game i just have to include it and if we just go up to the chest right here i guarantee you we're probably going to get close to over 200 i'm guessing 220 gold maybe even 237 all right so we got our gold block right there and let's see the final product what did we end up getting all right, here we go. And 219 gold right there, guys. Literally, by doing that glitch, that is so easy. So for this next one, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to set up a portal. Okay, I'm just going to set up a portal. I'm going to attach one to my avatar, and I'm going to actually bring it towards the back of spawn. This gold grinding method is actually super, super good, and not a lot of people actually know about this thing. So let me go ahead and place myself a portal right here. I'm just going to bring this right over to the spawn points. And believe it or not, guys, this portal is going to allow me to get hundreds of of gold. All right, so then once it's stuck to my avatar, I'm just going to delete it like this. So now we actually have the portal on the ground. So what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to take myself another chair just like this. I'm then going to place another cake or anything to attach to my avatar. It could be a butter block. It could be genuinely anything. And I'm actually going to fly to the first stage. I'm inside of the first stage. I'm actually going to leave the portal right about here. I'm then just going to actually going to anchor this thing in case the stage does respawn. My portal will still be there. So if the stage is respawn, it doesn't actually mess it up. So then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take one last portal. Actually, two last portals. I'm actually going to place this on a jet turbine. And I'm going to grab... I'm going to place one post on this side. And I'm going to place one post on this side right there. And then I'm going to grab myself a portal i'm gonna place it right oh, i'm gonna place it right here and this time i'm gonna change the color to red and this one i'm going to change the color to red and what i'm gonna do from here is i'm going to actually grab this i'm going to fly this i'm gonna fly one of them over to 
where I originally put the first one. So I'm going to change my jet speed, turn it down to like, you know, 10 or whatever. And here we go. I'm then going to just drop this thing off right next to the other portal. Boom, right there. I'm also going to make sure that I anchor it. There we go. Turn my jet speed back up. And I'm going to take this final portal over to the end treasure. Believe it or not, guys, this right here is one of the most overpowered things inside of the game. And it barely takes any setting up. Considering also that you can get jets inside of the game and also you can get portals for free Like this is like by far like one of the best things So we are now approaching the end and i'm just going to grab my property tool I'm going to select this portal. I'm actually going to make sure that my jet isn't as fast I'm going to actually hover over this chest and once I actually do that I actually should probably go just a little bit lower here just because I want to get a little bit lower. All right, here we go. Now that I'm approaching this, I'm going to take this anchor just like that. That should be good enough. All right, so then I'm just going to delete this and boom, just like that. All right, so now I am officially dead. All right, so now we are all set up and we're ready to go and start grinding gold. So every time I spawn in now, I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to walk over to this portal. I'm going to go inside of this stage, but I'm going to count to 10. If you don't count to 10, then it's not going to work. So I'm like six, seven eight nine and then ten all right so let's go through this one we're then going to fall pretty much right on top of the chest we're then going to grab the chest you can see how it actually activated it and then you can see i'm about to claim a bunch of gold super super fast i'm probably not going to get a lot because i only went through one stage but this is really good for grinding gold blocks super fast and just getting a small bit of gold you can see right here i just made 93 gold by literally just walking through a portal and then going over waiting 10 seconds and then going to the next one and then going to the end super overpowered and it's a good way especially if you don't like you know doing the grinders through the stages this one always works and you can just go down in and you can just keep on doing this repeatedly over and over again and it never lets you down so for this next gold grinder this one is also really overpowered to do all right so what you actually want to do is sit inside of a chair actually no i'm gonna show you guys a different one so this one you actually don't need a cake for this is a very, very old grinder, but it actually still works so good. We're going to place the servo on top of these two tables, just like this. And then once we actually have that servo, we're going to grab ourselves a truss. And the truss is located all the way up here. We're going to place one right there. So we're going to go one, two. We're going to grab this seat. All right, so now that we're sitting, we're going to grab myself a firework, place it on the back, and boom. Now we're pretty much good to go. So we got this firework attached to us. We're just going to go right up to this, place a wood block connecting the firework to the actual build and boom you guys can see this grinder actually used to be patched but for some reason it's unpatched now and you can use it it kind of works just like the hinge secrets but instead this one works extremely well all you have to do is just hold space bar and it takes you through the stages it's literally one of the most overpowered things inside the game i'm not going to go all the way through but this is going to give me the maximum amount of gold and for this next one i'm going to show you guys it's just like the other one but this one doesn't require a cake it doesn't require a firework instead we're going to be using a different block all right what we're actually going to be using is the butter glue block right here i'm gonna place this right inside of our avatar just like this grab the hinge block it's literally as simple as this guys it's literally as simple as this boom we're literally off it's and like build a boat is so easy bro all you gotta do is just have a hinge block it's literally that simple and you can go through the stages now if you did have a candy which i didn't eat you could go through you know like twice as fast but i didn't eat one so um yeah anyway this one's super overpowered as well and yes the walls actually don't break it this thing is fully functional you can see right here boom i'll actually get gold from this it's as easy as that but make sure to guys go ahead and subscribe if you guys do want to see more gold grinders just like this but for right now these are like literally the most overpowered ones of the year right now so comment down below if you guys know of any others and make sure you guys like the video and subscribe and i'll see you guys all inside the next one peace out and goodbye